Good morning, Alter Realty Group agents. This is Kevin Lauren. I'm the Director of Training and Marketing here. And today we're going to be talking about Op City. Um, Op City is our, uh, it is our, well, let me mute somebody here. There we go. It is our in house, or it's not in house, but it's our seller lead program that we use. Um, and we are also today, we have Derek on the line with us. Good morning, Derek. Derek, can you hear us? Yeah, I'm here. You there? I think we are here. Good morning, Derek. Derek, of <laughs> course, is with Clearview Mortgage. And we also on the line, we'll have uh, Lynette Campos. We'll bring her on the line in a second here. And we, of course, we have Travis Breton with us as well. Good morning, Travis. How are you today? Good. How are you doing? Doing fantastic. Travis, of course, is our corporate broker. And so, um, you know, before we get into our chat with Lynette, so today, of course, we're going to be talking with Lynette Campos, who has been very successful with using uh, OpCity. But before we get into our, our conversation and our, our Q&A with Lynette, um, we want to just bring on uh, Derek real quick. And Derek, give us a little bit of what's going on in the Clearview mortgage world, if you would. Yeah, no worries. I just kind of wanted to bullet point a few things on the lending side of things. Um, I feel like the biggest thing, the elephant in the room currently is the government shutdown. So I want to just let all the agents know and everyone out there know that uh, although, yes, there's a government shutdown, FHA, uh, VA, uh, USDA, all the, the government loans are not being impacted at all. Um, so we're good there. The one thing I will say, though, that if you have a client or a buyer who is a federal employee or like, a, for example, a TSA um, worker, the only hiccup that you're going to have is when they get their verification of employments done. That's been delayed a little bit. So I would encourage anybody, if you have a, a buyer who's a federal, federal employee, um, just to, you know, get the, the VOE, the verification of employment done right up front. Um, of course, I'm fully aware of that. But if you're working with another, another lender, just make sure that they are, they're very uh, proactive with that. And then that way you won't have any hiccups whatsoever. But I just want to make sure you guys are clear that, uh, government loans are, you know, full speed ahead. Everything's good there. In fact, uh, we actually just launched a new um, product that we have, which is uh, called an FHA Elite for FHA Elite pricing. Um, it goes down all the way down to 640. So I priced up this morning just to kind of get an idea of where that puts, you know, the rate at. And um, on a conforming loan amount, you know, figure around 450 um, loan amount with FHA. If they have a 640 FICO they can qualify for a four and an eight. So 4.125, and that's considered par. That's no buy down points or anything, um, which is phenomenal for someone with a 640 uh, FICO. No doubt. Um, and of course, pricing only gets better with the stronger FICO from that. Um, so just two things with government was, you know, we're all good on the government shutdown, still doing FHA loans, still, you know, pounding out VA loans and have actually even better pricing through, uh, through FHA and, and VA as well. Um, a couple other things as far as turn times, I'm not sure, um, if you guys, your other lenders are, are this, are this speedy, but I'm really proud of our, of our turn times where, I mean, our record was, uh, clear to close, which is final approval on a loan from start to finish in eight days. Um, which is just a, just a phenomenal, uh, time frame Cause it just means that you're just basically hanging out waiting for your escrow to expire. Cause your, your loan for your client is done. Um, that's really what we try to we try to get done on every single file. Typical uh, turn times for underwriting we've we've been seeing lately are just not even 24 hours. Uh, I get all I click all the steps up front from your client with your help or or just myself. Um, submit it to underwriting. I can get approval with condition same day if it's done if it's turned in before noon, which is usually what I shoot for. And then once we get those those conditions cleared or get the conditions back from your client. Turn it back in for CTC, literally same thing. If I can get in before noon, I can have same day CTC. So I know a few um, agents have experienced that with me. So I just encourage everyone to out there. I mean, just, I guess that's the big, the bigger, the bigger thing I'm trying to get for 2019, which is a challenge to all the agents out there to just, you know, give me a shot, whether it's check me out for pricing, compare me against your other lender that you have. Um, if, if you're, you know, the buyer's agent, if you're the listing agent and you want to make sure that a couple things, if you want to make sure that your buyer is truly qualified, you can always do a cross call. I'm happy to work that up. There's no pressure or, or sales tactic to earn that buyer's you know business. I just want to make sure that they're, they're good for you. So that way that nothing is, I'm not going to like, you know, you know, ruffle anybody's feathers or anything like that. 
during the transaction. And then lastly, um, I, anybody who's, like I said, pricing and cross call, um, or if you have just scenarios that you want to run by or questions like that, I mean, please know that I'm available 24 seven, um, seven days a week. Um, at the annoyance of my wife, I will take your call no matter what. Um, <laughs> so you can reach me uh, via call or text uh, 714-501-7250. I'm literally, I'm always available. And if I miss your call, I will get back to you like within the hour. Um, so that's my, 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 I guess my big points was the government's okay. Um, FHA pricing is actually better than it's ever been now that we have this new investor. Um, turn times are outstanding. So I would, I would definitely look at your books and see if your other files are moving as quickly as ours are. And then lastly, just, um, just want to try to earn your business at least try me out. If there's a lot of agents that we have with Alta um, that Clearview hasn't had the, the opportunity to work with yet. And I'm excited and chomping up a bit to, to earn your business and just try me out to see if we're, you know, where are pricing measures up against your current lender and making sure that you have, if you're the listing agent, a solid buyer. So that way no time is wasted on your end. And then, you know, lastly, just the speed of the whole transaction, just having full autonomy of the deal. If you're a listing agent, I'm doing the, and I have the, the buyers all dialed in. Not only are you in control of the sellers, but now you control the buyers because I work for you. So just want to throw that out there. Um, hope you guys have a great week. If there's any other questions, you guys can text, uh, text or call me anytime. Excellent, Derek. Well, thank you so much. And, you know, pricing is one thing, you know, we obviously, we've got some pretty sharp uh, pricing, but, you know, the, I think one of the biggest things with using Clearview is the service and the quick turnaround time. Um, efficiency, and then also just, you know, having them as part of our Alta group, you know, you are in, con you're way more in control of the transaction. So, uh, Derek, thank you so much for being on the line with us. We appreciate it. And you, yeah, no worries. yeah, you get out there and make it a great day and a great week as well. All right, you guys take care. All right. Thanks, buddy. So now we'd like to bring on um, one of our agents, Lynette Campos. And so Lynette, good morning. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? Doing fantastic. So Lynette is one of the agents that has really embraced the Op City uh, seller, uh, I'm sorry, buyer lead program. And so, you know, and it's, it's one of the, the, basically what Op City does is they take on the, the risk of lead generation for our brokerage with no upfront fees for us. So Op City calls, they, they go out, they buy leads from, you know, all the different, you know, top sources, realtor.com, Zillow, uh, et cetera, et cetera. They buy leads, they scrub them, they call, they filter them, they continually follow up with those leads until it's the perfect time for that client to be interfaced with an agent, a local agent. So that's what OpCity does. It doesn't cost our agents anything up front, but they do, when you do a sale with a lead that comes in through OpCity, the split is 50-50. So it's a, a much different from our regular you know, a flat fee program, uh, but very, very good way to augment your sales. You know, most of our sales, of course, come from sphere of influence, um, other, you know, leads that we buy and all that kind of stuff. Of course, those leads, when you make a sale, you get, you know, uh, basically 100% of your commission minus the small flat fee. So this is just a good way to augment what you're already doing. So, um, you know, uh, Lynette has done a great job. So Lynette, first of all, um, where are you located? Let's just let everybody know, know what area you're in and how long have you been using uh, Op City? Um, I am in the Sacramento area and I think I signed up with Op City about a year ago, but I've been actually um, really working the leads and trying to work them for about six months or so. <laughs> that sounds about right. And so really in the last six months, you've closed four transactions. Is that correct? With Op City? Uh, yes. I have one that closed last week as well. Um, so be it'll fifth? be six. Oh, six. Okay. I'm sorry, the fifth. The fifth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then I put one in escrow yesterday. So the sixth yesterday. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. <laughs> So and, so, and so working with Op City is, you know, the way that you need to work with Op City in order to be successful is they, you know, they really want to see a couple of different things. They want to see that you are, you know, following up with these leads, you're answering the, you know, the, uh, the inquiries when they come through. And, you know, when you work with Op City and you're, you're, you know, using their systems, they start to give you better leads. And have you seen that in your, in your experience 
Lynette? Oh, absolutely. I, I've gotten the the uh, quality of leads I was getting six months ago before I closed my first deal with them is much different than the leads I'm getting now that I've closed right. a good four with them. <laughs> much better. Sense. And it completely makes sense because what they're trying to do is they're trying to work with agents, local agents that are the best. And so really, you know, um, and they just launched a new program for, for agents that are new. But really, you know, they, when you, we, we go through the process for signing someone up with OpCity, if you've never done a transaction, historically, they wouldn't even let that agent be part of the program. So there is a new program that they just launched for, for new agents. But um, so that's, the, you know, they really want to work with the best agents. And they're actually doing a pretty darn good job um, of doing that. So, um, so uh, Lynette, would you tell us kind of what the process is when, when a, an OpCity lead comes in and how that happens? So it will come through your phone. It kind of pings your phone and it comes up with uh, some general information, the area that the buyer is looking um, and the price point that they are at and uh, kind of their time frame as to when they want to buy. You have the option to either accept that lead or you can skip it. Um, once you accept it, if you, um, I guess, if you win that lead, I guess, yeah. um, and if it's yours, they will then call you. Um, the cool thing that I like about them is that they get on the phone with both you as well as that uh, client and they kind of do an intro to you. So they've got both of you on the phone, the agent and the client. Um, OpCity will do the intro and then they hop off the line and then you kind of... Um, you talk to the client and set up appointments and um, try to find out what they're looking for. And what I try to do is I try to set up a meeting uh, ASAP with them. If, if, if I can't do it same day, I'd like to do it the next day um, right. at that point. And then, um, yeah, you, you get out, show property. They do like you to update your up cities uh, every seven days and they will um, uh, keep reminding you. <laughs> so you <laughs> yes, they will. So it's, best, it's best to keep them updated. <laughs> yes. So that is a huge, um, you know, when, when, when you're using OpCity, and I know some of the agents on the line are, are using it and maybe they haven't had the best success with it. Um, it's really important to log into your OpCity portal and update OpCity with what's going on with the leads that they send you. That's one of the B, the big key uh, facets in, getting you better leads. You know, if you're interacting with right. them more, they're going to send you higher quality leads. And so you've certainly experienced that, right, Lynette? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I have to be honest, I wasn't very good when I first started in updating my leads. But um, <laughs> and, and, once I got into <laughs> it and <laughs> kind of set, okay, on every Wednesday, I'm going to update, it got better. <laughs> for sure so the and that so that's really really big and so i think some of the agents that haven't had the best success with op city you know they're not staying on it and they're not you know uh really uh keeping up to date with with what they want you know with what uh, op city wants to to see so um so that yeah. is one of the big big things in being successful with op city is just that communication with them and then, you know, the, the, could you tell us about the, um, how quickly you need to respond to these leads? You mean from the time that you get the little ping on your phone? Yes. Um, very quickly. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's, it's literally seconds. So, yes. um, I have, you know, missed one or I didn't hear it on my phone and I picked up my phone and I noticed that cause it stays on your phone until you open it up right. and you know, it will, it, it came in two minutes prior. And if I try to claim it, it it's, it's claimed already. But if you get it within, I, I would say at least three seconds, um, you've got a fairly good chance, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's, um, it's the quickness of the finger. <laughs> it really is. And so that would be, I think like, you know, probably the, the most important thing in being successful with OpCity leads is the quickness with which you click that button. Because basically what it does, like Lynette said, is it comes in as a text message on your phone. And so you just click the button, it'll link you to the OpCity rep. And if you're quick enough, it, you will, uh, like Lynette said, win that lead and you'll be connected. So really, really important, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, and, and Travis, we've still got you on the line. Travis, would you, would you give us any insight into that? Because that's just huge in general with all lead generation. But could you give us a little insight about that? As far as being uh, 
pick on the gun to yeah, to just accept that, the lead or yes. on the follow up? I think I I think both. <laughs> yeah. So um, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but with Off City, I mean, it you have to accept that notification. I mean, right as it comes across, because there's there's other it, it's the first come first serve. So right. You know, having the uh, the app on your phone and you know the push notifications um, activated, I think, are probably uh, the best ways to you know win the lead when it comes across. Um, the follow up, I mean, you get connected right away yeah. to the buyer or seller on the other line, so that that is a nice part of the warm handover um, from the uh, you know the off city operator, basically. So. From there, you know, follow up is key, um, depending on how that conversation goes, um, and into whatever the next steps are. So is that was kind of what you experienced in it. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and it really is the quickness of it. I mean, you have to be on that within seconds. <laughs> have sure. you noticed any kind of algorithm on there as far as you know? Uh, when the leads are coming through or if you get one accepted do you do they send you more kind of right away because they see that you're you know active on your phone at that time or have you noticed any kind of uh, patterns with how the leads come through i haven't you know at one point i thought maybe it was the case where if you got one um and uh they would send it to you send you more after but i think it's just a matter of Maybe the, I've noticed afternoons are a little bit busier. I think it's just the time that people are looking at property online. I haven't really noticed that, you know, if I get one that they send me more. I, I really haven't noticed that. I've noticed some days are a little bit busier. Some days, um, you know, I might get one, some days none at all. And then some days you'll get like five, six of them throughout the day. So I haven't really noticed any, any risk or anything, though. Now, how do you have your parameters set? Are you just kind of taking everything? Do you have... It's it hard down to only certain price range. So I have my settings. Um, I was located in Davis, and so I set my settings. I think it's about 60 miles out. Um, now, I don't take every single one that comes through. So sometimes you'll get them on your phone. They'll come up, and it's like, um, you know, 175000 in the Bay Area. Well, I know you're not going to find that. So <laughs> I skip that one. <laughs> so I'm... I'm realistic about the price points. You know, I'll look at it and say, okay, I, you know, that's reasonable. Um, or I, I, could, could, I can work with that. But yeah, some of them, if, if it's the area and I know that there's just nothing at that price point, I won't accept it. So um, I also, I don't like to go too far, um, too far out. I know that there's the limits that it's, it's, you know, I think it's like 45 miles and then 60 miles. Um, but like the Bay Area, I, I, I won't drive over there just because I don't really know that market too well. So <laughs> but it's a, also yeah. price points and areas. Not a real, real good use of that. Park down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead, Travis. Oh, sorry. So you do have it set with, uh, with Op City in there, the, the settings there. So maybe you're not accepting every single thing. You're, you're just as far as price range goes. Correct. Yeah. 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 So, so the, for uh, the, yeah, so for those of you that haven't used OpCity yet, you can set your parameters to certain price points and obviously geographical areas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For leases and manufactured homes and investors and stuff like that too, I believe. That's correct. Yeah, you, you can you can include those or exclude those. Yeah. So yeah. have you tried accepting any of the lower price ones just to see what was on the other line? Um, uh, I when I first started with Op City, I was accepting them all. I'll be honest with you. Whatever came through my phone, I was I was taking them. <laughs> Good. And then what did you find on the lower price leads? Where they, I, I used to buy Zillow leads years and years ago, and mm -hmm. I'm sure other people experience it too. I, I would get um, you know manufactured home leads and, and things like that, and um, I would call. I would call the, the lead back and follow up with them. And what I typically found was a first time buyer on the other line um, who mm -hmm. just didn't know what prices were and, you know, had just had no idea. So they were just kind of clicking around on the cheapest stuff they can find. And right. I ended up converting 
really all of them, but like one who actually did want a manufactured home into, you know, small homes or town homes. Um, and I just found that most of the time they were, they were just first time buyers. Is that something you experienced too? When, when you got those lower price point notifications? Correct. Yeah. Most, um, well, I'd say probably all of them were first time home buyers. Um, one of the first ones that I closed with Op City was actually, I think it was like a 94,000 uh, little condo in the Sacramento area. Um, so, I mean, they're not bad. It's just a lot of them, when I first started with Op City, a lot of them were um, the lower price points. But then once you get them to talk to a lender, if they would talk to a lender, they didn't qualify or um, they were just kind of looking around. They weren't curious about, about buying. That was just my experience with opposite at the very beginning yeah okay yeah so, i think that's, that's pretty typical huh so it's it, you know you definitely opposite is the kind of program you got to work it for a little while in order to get some success but here we have lynette on pace to you know maybe do 10 deals in the first year of, of using op city you know really if you just count the six months that she's really been working it I mean, that's pretty darn good, especially, you know, now Lynette, you're also, of course, working your sphere of influence and you're doing other things. Um, mm -hmm. But Op City has just been a great extra uh, way to augment your sales, correct? It is, yeah. And I have to tell you, I recently moved from Davis up to the Yuba City area and I'm new to the area. And so I've been trying to... Uh, pick the leads up here in order to get my name out in this area. And it's yeah. really worked because I've got about three or four in this area. So it's, it's helped me get my name out here in a new area that I, you know, didn't really know people over in this area at first. So it yeah. kind of helped with that too. And it's a great momentum builder, you know, um, as real estate agents, when you're doing deals, it builds men momentum, you know, more deals, we get more deals. Um, you're sharpening your skills, you're honing everything that you're doing. And so it's just a really <clears throat> positive way to, like I say, just augment what you're doing. I really like that, that, you know, in a new area, you've been, been able to, you know, get deals and establish yourself where you, you really didn't know many people, correct? Correct. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, and the great thing is, you know, with that, now you can, you know, you've got a little bit of dough to put back into marketing in that area. You can do some Facebook targeted marketing and some other things that'll help um, exactly, you know, build your, your following in that area. That's great. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Lynette, what I want to also ask you is just, just basically, what do you like about the Op City program um, and would you recommend it? Um, what I like about it is that there's uh, a first contact before they, before I contact them. So they, Op City will um, talk to them to find out what they need. If they're not already set up with lender or pre-qualified, they will set them up with the lender. Right. Um, and I love that. Uh, you kind of, now, of course, obviously some of the leads, they're just looking and, you know, they don't call you back or <laughs> they have no interest in actually purchasing. Sure. There's those ones, but for the most part, um, they get, how do I say the leads are much better. The, yeah. the, the people are serious about, about actually buying a house. And I absolutely love that about, uh, op city. So yeah. I would highly recommend it, highly recommend it. Um, obviously, you know, doing it for a month, you're probably not going to see any results. Yeah. Stick with it. Like I said, I did it for about six months before I actually said, let's get serious about this. Yeah. <laughs> and then it started working for me. <laughs> No, really good success story there. And we're ha we have a few other agents that are just starting to really work it and they're starting to get deals. And so um, that's exciting for us to see for sure. Um, and, and Travis, do you have any other, uh, any other insights to offer about using, you know, uh, Op City or even programs like it? Um, well, I mean, there are other referral type programs out there, I guess. Sure. Uh, they can sign up for work. As well, uh, they're they're not. I, I don't know that they're <clears throat> quite as good. I guess as Op City in the fact that you're really just getting a, a warm handover of this person. You know, they're they're doing all the upfront lead gen. They buy hundreds of thousands of leads every month and basically cultivate them in house until that person says they they're ready to talk to an agent. So. 
Um, I, I don't know of really a better way to get that type of lead, I guess, you know, it's, it's not, you know, you got a contact form across your email, someone that was on your website and now you're kind of cold calling or, you know, calling them 10, 15 times to try and get a hold of them. I mean, you're, you're connecting with, you know, people who want to talk to a real estate agent. So that's, that's what I really like about the program. Yeah, and then the other thing is, you know, Op City is actively buying leads from Realtor.com, Zillow, Trulia. They're competing with you already, anyway. Um, and <laughs> so when you when you when you buy those leads yourself, you, you got to scrub them. You you know, and, and plus we all know <laughs> that in order to be successful with those programs, you got to put up a couple grand, you know, to get enough leads to make sense. And then you got to scrub them. You got to weed through them. So it's pretty nice to have Op City, you know, scrub those leads for you and, you know, weed out the, the ones that are just real, real looky-loos and at least get you to that super warm buyer, like Lynette said. Um, so just, you know, and again, it, there's no upfront cost. So I think that's great for agents that are low on marketing dollars. Um, so um, again, just a great way to augment things. Uh, Lynette. One, and, and, one other thing. Yes, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, Kevin, one other thing that I absolutely love about OpCity is that if you do lose contact with that client, um, you have the option to release it back to OpCity. OpCity is really good. They have, um, I've, I've spoken with them numerous times. They apparently have a department there that any of them that are released, these people will get on and follow up with those people. So I've actually had leads come back to me because I've lost contact with them, but somehow they were able to get uh, back in contact with them. Um, you know, the client was sick, they went out of town, and so that client came back to me. So it's kind of great to have that as a backup if you lose contact with them or um, you know, you followed up and they're just not contacting you again, Op City will then reach out to them. And if they can get a hold of them, they'll send them back to you. Wow, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> kind of a, a backup to, to your follow up. <laughs> oh, big time. Um, so, also, let's see, um, I want to remind everybody on the webinars that we always have a chat feature. If you have any questions, of course, you can. You know, you can uh, type into the chat. And so this morning we've got Larissa saying Derek is awesome. Anna and I are super happy with him. And then, of course, Pamela also chimed in. Derek is awesome. My buyers have loved him. So everybody, if you haven't used Derek or Bill or Debbie with Clearview, you got to check them out because they are making clients happy daily. So, uh, Travis, thank you so much for being on the line. And Derek, thank you so much for being on the line with us. Lynette, we really appreciate you coming on this webinar and giving insight to how you can become successful with OpCity. So thank you for being with us, Lynette. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Heck yeah, and so guys, anything that I can do for you, I'm always here to help. I'm here <coughs> to train and do one-on-one -on -one trainings with you guys. So again, you can always go to calendly.com backslash Alta Realty Group and we can get you guys going. Uh, Pamela says, how do we get Op City? Uh, Pamela, I'm, uh, I'm gonna contact you directly and we'll get you set up with an account. Anybody else that doesn't have an account, send me an email, kevin at altarealtygrp.com or call me 949-285-7209 uh, and we'll get that set up for you guys. And I'll, I'll actually do a walkthrough with you so we make sure that we set it up properly. So uh, Pam, yep. I will give you a call and we will get that going. Uh, if any, and I don't see any other questions in the chat. So we are ready to go, guys. Thank you so much. And on the, when I send the replay out, I'll, of course, uh, put a little link there so you can contact me and we can get you guys set up with OpCity. Uh, thanks a lot for being on the webinar, guys. Go out and make it a great week. And we'll see you guys next week on the webinar. Thanks a lot. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.